people it is tropical storm heading our way so it's all gloomy it's starting to rain and i'm on my way to work and i work on the other side of town so we gonna pray that it does not get horrible and i'm able to come back home at the end of my shift but the bad thing is to have a turnaround shift so i still might get stuck on the other side town because I have to be back at work at 8 in the morning. Now we're 8 to 6 tomorrow. So we'll see what's going on with that. I'll keep you guys posted. Other than that um, I have not edited the vlog yet but <laughs> um, other than that nothing else is going on. I am into all the kings all the queens men are BT with Eva Marcel. It's, a, it's pretty interesting. My husband calls it a fake pea valley because he um, came in there today while I was watching episode six or seven. So I'm almost to the end of the season. And then I saw that um, Jay Lee has a review on it. So once I finish the season, I'll see what she has to say about it. And um, happy Wednesday, people. I don't even know if I vlogged any at all yesterday. Um, this week is just kind of getting away from me. I have not edited in last week's vlog. Uh, today was my off day. I have not done anything and it is five o'clock in the p.m. When I go into Family Dollar right now to uh, pick up a couple of quick little things and then I am going to go home and get on the Peloton for the first time since we've had it. Um, and then I'm going to give this one a bath because she looks like a little rag doll. Look at her. Look at her. Um, yeah. But I am, like I said, I'm gonna go in here and go to Family Dollar. I'm gonna get on this Peloton for the first time. Y'all wish me luck. I don't even know how what I'm doing, but I'm gonna figure it out before my husband gets home because he's gonna come home and get ready to get on it himself. He has been doing very well. I am kudos to him he's been doing very well i need to get on this band wagon get some of this snatch back together get some of this weight off of my body we both have been eating a little bit better okay so i came back because i was like i didn't talk about the weather and everything so if you watch the news you know uh tropical storm nicholas blew through houston um, so that night, I think I did vlog a little bit Monday. Um, so that night I worked three to one, which I wasn't going to leave at one anyway, because I had to turn back, back around and come back in. So, um, I left there about 12. I had planned on before then, but I had some technical difficulties. Um, but I got made it home like right before everything just went, uh, Stormy and the wind and the rain were so heavy. I could hear it on my back door um, And that's really odd for the way that where our back door is located in our house. So It was going it was going it was going this one was scared. She all in my knee I couldn't move without her and she was scared and uh, my husband uh, Was sleepy he sleeps pretty heavy so um, then the lights start going on and off, on and off, on and off. They were trying to hang in there. They were trying to hang in there. So, um, that was annoying because the Roomba will go bloop, bloop, and the Alexa and, oh my God, every time the lights go on and off, on and off, on and off. Because I would fall asleep in between them going on and off because it was not hot in the house, right? So, um, but my husband works for the university and, um, his job is an essential worker. His job. So, they automatically made them going to do a 12-hour shift. So, he had to be at work at 6. So, if you know anything about my husband, I've not told y'all before, he's always super early and never late. <laughs> okay? So, he finally got frustrated and was like, forget it, I'm going to go to work. When I looked at the clock, when he kissed me goodbye, it was like 4.43, right? I swear, that man did not leave out the house maybe 10 minutes. The lights went back off and never came back on. Now, remember I said I had to go. Where are the lights? Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Hold on. I don't even know when to go. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, anyway, what happened was the intersection by my house. Well, why well, I went to one family dollar and they didn't have any batteries, and I went to go get batteries for my husband. So I want to go home without any batteries. So I went to another one. There's like three right near my house. So I guess I'll hit all three maybe. Anyway, so back to my story. <laughs> so, um, like 10, 10, 15 minutes later, like I said, I was working a turnaround. So basically, I've had broken sleep since I got home. It took me a minute to go to sleep when I got home. And then when I went to sleep, I had broken sleep. Then he went to work and the lights went off. So I have a little, I don't have my purse purse. I just brought my wallet. Um, a little portable fan that uh, we had got for my brother's funeral. And it's um, charged. So... I pulled it out of my purse, I set it up on my little table and put it my table in the bed and went back to sleep. Cause like I said, it wasn't hot, hot and that was just enough to keep my sinuses from acting crazy. So then the text message started. The manager that was supposed to come in before me, she said her living room was flooded. She, well, first she said she didn't know she was gonna make it if it kept up like this. Then she was like, her living room was flooded. So she's not coming to work, so. I knew the overnight manager was gonna have to stay there at least until I got there. And I, honestly, I was really considering not going to work myself, but that's not really in my character. Anyway, so I finally was able to go back to sleep by the time my alarm went off. I was like, I'm not ready to get up. I hit that snooze button like four times, so which made me run late, right? But so I called him, I let him know, hey, um, well, he texted me if I was coming. I was like, yeah, but. I just woke up, I need to take a shower, I don't have any lights, and I gotta get my dog situated, right? So, the middle of our house doesn't really have any windows, so it's really, really dark in our house. And the bathroom that only, our bathroom in our room that I film in has only a tub. And the bathroom in the hallway has a tub and a shower, so I didn't really wanna take a shower in the dark, dark. So, I don't know, just think of me. So I went and took a quick bath and I had to turn the light on my phone so I could feed the dogs in the dining room and let them eat. Well, we kind of don't really eat. So then I opened the lights. I opened the curtains in our room so the light can kind of shine in the dining room because that's where I leave Wakanda because it's tall. Like our room, like I said, only has a uh, carpet and the den only has carpet. So those only two rooms only have carpet. And I leave her in there, especially right now that's why she has her little problem. And I put her out some fresh puppy pads. I put the gate up, the other gate up for our room so she can get lights. Cause I normally just close the door, but I wasn't gonna leave them in the dark, dark, dark. And then I opened the living room blind so Mo could have, could have some light and I went to work. Tell me why we didn't have lights the whole time I was at work. By the time I was getting ready to come home, my husband finally texted me and said the lights back on because he was checking like the cameras and everything like that to see the head came back on. So on top of my broken sleep, working to turn around, that's probably why I did not even think about vlogging yesterday. Um, we had no damage or anything like that other than the lights going off. So praise God. All right, guys, I have made it back home. I have been messing with this Peloton bike. I got my little fan going right now because it's a little heated in my den because we keep the air on low during the day because usually no one's here, but I don't even mess with the settings. So I have set up my profile and now I'm ready to try to get the stuff. I got my... This is what our bike looks like. So I just set the fan right there, but I'm gonna take it off one of that. Got my little Peloton shoes on. Yeah, we gonna see how this goes. Um, yeah. Y'all, Peloton ain't no punk. And I cannot get myself unclipped out them shoes. I had to pull my feet out the shoes and then fight with the thing, get them off. I cannot unclip out them shoes, but my first ride was okay. I was missing with, I totally forgot how to set my dog on watch to show my exercise so it can go in my Apple, you know, in my 
thing for today, but it is what it is. Gonna get back on it tomorrow. I try to do this daily or at least three times a week. Um, I did not log in with my Facebook profile because I don't know what my Facebook password is, but I'm gonna figure that out. So next time I get on there, maybe I can find me some friends. <sighs> Lord have mercy. So now I'm relaxing for a minute till my husband get here. And then I need to give this little girl a bath. Y'all saw her in the car. She looked like a mess. Get her looking all prettified. And and we're gonna make some uh roasted chicken tacos for dinner. So yeah. Happy Thursday, people. I know I said I was off today, but I got the call to go in today and be off tomorrow. So I'm on my way to work, but at least it's a morning shift. It is 7.50. I'm supposed to be there at 8. I'm going to be about 10, 15 minutes late. Um, I just was dragging this morning, to be honest with you. Um, I looked on Facebook this morning, and my cousin, you know, was like he was missing my brother. And I think that just really, really triggered me, because in the past few days, a lot, my sister-in-law said she's never been this sad in her life which you know is understandable she lost her husband um my niece that used to live with me posted a picture of all of us at his birthday party and said him with all his girls and then it's posted this morning i think it just that sent me over the top you know dang i didn't mean to get on here and cry but i'm not you know, it's a process, y'all. It's a process. But I do really, really, really well. And then things like that will trigger me. And then I'll just have, like, memories. And it's a process, y'all. It's a process. And um, I'm happy that you guys let me share that with y'all. I still have yet to post the two weeks that I didn't post because it's really like this really really emotional um and I'm just not ready to post it yet <laughs> but I will post it in the future it's in I mean I uploaded it and everything I edited everything but um, so I am still on my job rule kick I don't know if I said it I think I t just told my husband I used to an avid Ja Rule fan. So, <laughs> that verse has just made me uh, look up a Ja Rule's Essentials um, Apple Music even before the verses came up and I've just been enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. So, I'm going to go back to that um, and try to get out of my feelings so I can go to work and do what I need to do. But y'all have Happy a great day. Happy Friday, people. What is up? I am finally dressed and out of the house. I am looking nice as usual. No, no, I as usual because sometimes I be coming on here looking busted for y'all. Y'all know. But um, me and the beau, Wakanda, <laughs> are finna head to my husband's job because he needed me to come up there real quick. And then I need to get these eyebrows threaded. I pick up the kids by four on that side of town. And so, yeah, we had a little little things to do, a little traveling to do, uh, all that good stuff. Um, so, I will talk to you guys throughout the day. Hopefully, I don't forget. But right now, I'm going to listen to some music. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, all the Queen's Men. I don't even know if I said this in another video, but we're going to talk about it right now. All the Queen's Men is a series on BET Plus that, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. So when I first started watching, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. First of all, Eva Marcel, Eva Pickford, if you know her from America's Next Top Model, um, she. That's her role. That's her role. I like her in that role. It took me a minute to get to it because the first couple of episodes, I guess you could kind of tell that she was nervous or whatever. Um, so it, it didn't come off the right way. But when 
once she got into the role, I was like, okay, yeah, that's her role. I feel her. She, she that gangster princess right there. Um, and then the nephew, Amp. I like him as a person. Like him as an actor. Not as a dancer, baby. He looks so stiff and uncomfortable trying to dance. Especially dancing with Midnight, Doc, Baby Boy, and El Fuego. Yes, he looks she he looks so so still. But the the storylines and everything was really really good. I was very very disappointed on how they ended it because I was like, no. So if you watched it, let me know. I like the show. I'm here for it. Can't wait till they put some more episodes out or the next season. That's the only thing I hate about watching series on streaming services because you are watching them, watching them, watching them, watching them. Or you can finish it in the whole day. You're like, wait, what happened? Wait, and you got to wait a year, six months, whatever the case may be for more episodes. But, all right. So I dropped my stuff off, drop off what I needed for my husband. And now I am starving. So. I've stopped here at Subway. Because I've been sitting here fighting with her. I could have ordered on the app and just walked in there and got it. But that's okay. We feel good order. Let's go. Y'all see this? This is me getting off of the freeway. So imagine what the freeway looks like. It's a major accident going south on the freeway that I was on. And then I read the sign that it is one going north. So I said, okay, I'm going to get off. And I'm okay. I don't know what's going on with but how they adjusted my seat. I just came from the car wash. Got me looking all crazy and stuff up in this car, <laughs> up in this car, y'all. But um, I just showed y'all, it is major, major traffic. It is only four o'clock. Um, I'm on my way to get the twins, maybe just one, don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I said in the previous clip, I got off the freeway because it is congested congested and if y'all don't know i do not like traffic even though i see traffic almost every day that i go to work but i do not like traffic so yeah but we just came from the car wash the cars all nice and clean y'all see that and excuse the clean the kitchen with over there and you see girl mm, me too too um <laughs> yeah but let's talk about music so today tanks first three albums two four whatever was released on Apple Music, so you know I like Tank. And um, it's like just one song that I just like really, really wanted to listen to, the Please Don't Go song. I don't know why I like that song so much, but that was like the first, that was like the first song that I downloaded. And then, um, use the left lane to make a U-turn. No, we're not going your way. We're going my way. Um. Yeah, that was the first song I done. I don't know that maybe I deserve and next breath. So I'm jamming those right now. Of course, y'all know I'm still on my little Ja Rule kick. But actually, I'm listening to my filtered music playlist because when I first got an iPhone, my husband and I shared an account. So like I said, our music choices are so, so, so different. So it's a lot of Zotico and blues in my playlist that... I uh, inherited from him. I'd rather just to take them off. I started a filter music that has no blues, no Zotico, and no. Uh, Where's my front door? Um, no gospel music. Um, so I can just listen to what I want to listen to. Hey, y'all. I've been out all day and have not vlogged with y'all. Well, I did. I talked to y'all a little bit about Tank and all the Queens men. But yeah, I have picked up one twig. The other one is MIA, but it's okay. <laughs> anyway, we are sitting in the parking lot waiting on our wings. Cause we decided we're gonna have us a movie night and we're gonna watch wings. We're gonna watch wings. We're gonna <laughs> eat wings and popcorn and we got some ice cream. So we need to stop and hurry up. Um, yeah, so that's what we gonna do. And this one, I think she's tired of riding. Let's see if we can take y'all out. Say, tell people, tell them to ride. Let me get this camera out of my face. <laughs> yeah, that one I think she's tired of riding, but we are almost home. So, forget my nail right there. My nails are still holding up, y'all. But they are a little bit long for it because I be like struggling trying to, um, just me and backing in with this big old truck. 
very closely. Sorry, that was what that look was. Uh, but I be struggling at work with the uh, tablet because they a little long. So when I get back, I'm gonna get them cut out. RIP to the long nails already. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> so this dog <laughs> over here is blowing the horn. I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> Baby, why you blowing the horn? Like, and you got the windshield wipers on and everything. <laughs> Happy Sunday, people. How are you? What is going on? How have you been? I don't even know if I vlogged yesterday. I really don't think that I did because I was talking to my husband pretty much the whole way to work. So I did not really vlog. I don't think. I don't know. Don't get me wrong. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, so. Today is Sunday fun day. Y'all know what that means. Busy Sunday at work. Um, and I work four to two. Last night was kind of busy too. Like I said, our dining room has gone back to being open to 3 a.m. on the weekends. And everybody wanted to come in, dine in, be all joyous and laughing. And then I had, well, my team leader had two call offs, which means I was supposed to get off at two. I didn't leave to by like 3.15 when the lobby closed and I finished closing out the drawers and stuff. So yeah, that was that. Um, it is back to football, y'all. Back to football. I went, took a nap to uh, the Texas game. I woke up to the Texas game. And then, of course, in between, he's watching the other games. Um, when I left right now, he's watching Arizona. Because, you know, they took our DeAndre Hopkins and JJ Watt and they are doing so well over there. I wish them the best of luck. I hope they get their dreams that they are striving for. I miss them here in Houston, but it is what it is. Life goes on. Last week the Texas won. They lost this week, but they put up a good fight. Um, So back to football. We are back to football. Um, tomorrow I'm off. We're both off tomorrow. Um, so I don't know what that entails, but we need to get some housekeeping done. So that is my plan, but I know we're going to go see my mother-in-law. So that's in the plan too. Other than that, I really don't have much to say. Like I said, it's just been one of those weeks. Haven't done much. And whatever I have, I've included you guys. I got to get these nails done and cut down sometime this week. Uh, probably Thursday because I'm off Thursday. So we'll do that Thursday. Um, other than that, I don't have anything else for you guys. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when videos are posted. Make sure you comment, like, share this video so that I can have others watch me too. I did not do my two week Married at First Sight. Uh, I've just been lazy with Married at First Sight because Married at First Sight actually takes a little bit more work than vlogging. But I haven't given up on the show. So the next time I do it, which maybe it's probably going to be Thursday, I'll just recap everything um, for you guys.